What if everything you've ever known, every galaxy, every atom, even your own body was trapped inside a black hole and you had no idea? It sounds impossible, but some of the sharpest minds in theoretical physics are entertaining the idea that our entire universe may have emerged from or even currently exist within a black hole. It's a theory that flips everything we think we know about time, space, and reality on its head. And it's gaining attention in some very serious circles. Even the movie Interstellar, once seen as science fiction, might have been closer to scientific prophecy than we realized. Let's start with Interstellar. In the film's climax, Cooper plunges into Gargantua, a colossal black hole, and survives. He escapes, not by sheer luck, but through something that defies normal physics, a mysterious five-dimensional construct called the Tesseract. In real life, most physicists would say such an escape is impossible. According to general relativity, once you cross the event horizon, the point of no return, you're done. Crushed, destroyed, but some recent models challenge that assumption. A few theoretical physicists suggest that, under the right conditions, black holes might not be ultimate dead ends. Instead, they could serve as transitions, not just for information or matter, but for entire universes. The Big Bang Theory has long dominated our understanding of the universe's origin. It tells us the universe exploded into existence about 13.8 billion years ago from an extremely hot, dense point. But here's the strange part. Time itself also seems to have begun at that moment. In other words, asking what happened before the Big Bang might be meaningless. Still, not everyone buys that answer. Some physicists believe the Big Bang wasn't the beginning at all, just a phase shift in a much larger cycle. Think of it not as a creation event, but as a transformation. And what if that transformation began deep within a black hole? Polish physicist Nikodem Popławski has proposed a radical idea. Every black hole might be a gateway to a new universe. Instead of collapsing into an infinitely small point, a singularity matter inside a black hole could be compressed to extreme densities and then bounce back in a phenomenon called a big bounce. The result? A brand new universe sealed off from the one it came from, but expanding outward in its own space and time. Imagine a cosmic nesting doll, one universe inside another, each born from the death of a massive star. In this view, black holes don't just consume, they create. Popovsky's equations suggest that the conditions inside rotating black holes known as Kerr black holes could allow for such a scenario. The immense gravity twists space and time so violently that it could punch through to a new realm entirely. This doesn't just flip our understanding of black holes. It redefines them as engines of cosmic rebirth, black hole secrets, even Einstein couldn't solve. Einstein's general theory of relativity predicted the existence of black holes, but even he struggled with what made it. Then came Stephen Hawking, who shook the scientific world in 1974 by proving that black holes emit radiation now known as Hawking radiation and can eventually evaporate. This discovery sparked one of the greatest puzzles in modern physics, the black hole information paradox. If black holes eventually disappear, where does the information about what fell into them go? According to quantum mechanics, information can't be destroyed. But if a black hole evaporates completely, that information seems to vanish forever. That contradiction between general relativity and quantum mechanics still hasn't been resolved. Enter the holographic principle, one of the strangest and most fascinating ideas in theoretical physics. It proposes that all the information in our 3D universe might actually be encoded on a distant 2D surface, like a cosmic hard drive. Think of a hologram, a two-dimensional pattern that creates the illusion of three dimensions. Black holes helped inspire this idea. Their event horizons seem to store information about everything. They've absorbed not inside them, but on their surfaces. This concept could resolve the information paradox. If information isn't lost, but merely recorded on the a surface of a black hole, like pixels on a screen, then perhaps 
nothing truly disappears. It also hints at something more staggering. Our entire universe might itself be a hologram, a 3D illusion, projected from a 2D cosmic boundary. String theory supports this model, and if true, it could tie black holes, gravity, and quantum mechanics together in a single framework. We might not be living inside the real universe, but inside a projected version of it. Wait, is our universe already inside a black hole? Let's get weirder. Some physicists have pointed out that if you took all the mass in our observable universe and compressed it, it would fit inside the Schwarzschild radius, the size a black hole would be for that mass. What exactly is the Schwarzschild radius? It's the critical radius where, if you compress enough mass into a small enough space, gravity becomes so strong that not even light can escape. At that point, you've created a black hole. This radius isn't fixed. It depends entirely on the object's mass. The more massive something is, the larger its Schwarzschild radius. For Earth, it would be less than an inch across. For the Sun, about three kilometers. But if you took all the mass in the observable universe and crammed it into a single point, that radius would be vast and our entire universe would fit neatly inside it. That's what makes this idea so haunting. By the numbers alone, our universe has the exact characteristics of a black hole. That's not just a curious coincidence. It suggests that, from an outside perspective, our universe might look like a black hole. And inside, we'd see exactly what we do. A hot, dense, early universe, slowly expanding. Even the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the Big Bang, fits this idea. It mirrors what we might expect to see inside a black hole immediately after formation. And here's where it gets eerie. The math governing the interior of a black hole looks a lot like the math, describing our own universe. But flipped space becomes time, and time becomes space. Could we be inside a black hole? Looking out, here's the full loop. A massive star collapses into a black hole. Inside, matter compresses to extreme densities. A new Big Bang occurs a new universe explodes into being. The information from the parent universe isn't destroyed, it's reborn in the child universe. The black hole, from the outside, shrinks and radiates. But from the inside, time flows forward, space expands, and galaxies form. Even hawking radiation, those ghostly emissions from a black hole might be something more. Signals from a universe beyond flickers of reality from another dimension. And what about dark energy, the mysterious force accelerating our universe's expansion? Some speculate. It could be linked to the birth of new universes through black holes. Every black hole might not be an end, but a beginning. Despite how compelling these ideas are, none of them have been conclusively proven. The Big Bang model still explains more of what we observe, from the cosmic microwave background to the abundance of light elements than any competing theory. Attempts to replace or refine it, like Roger Penrose's cyclic cosmology, have offered tantalizing hints. Penrose predicted hawking points, remnants of black holes from a previous universe that could appear in our night sky. But so far, the evidence is murky, until we find testable predictions that uniquely support these new models. Something the Big Bang doesn't explain we're left with educated speculation. So. What is a black hole, really? A dead star? A bottomless pit? Or the womb of an entirely new reality? We may never know for certain if our universe was born inside a black hole, or if every black hole we see out there is quietly giving birth to new universes of their own. But what we do know is this. The cosmos doesn't just bend the rules, it rewrites them. Time can stretch, space can fold, information can vanish or hide in plain sight. Black holes challenge everything we think we understand about reality. They swallow stars, yet might give rise to galaxies. They erase the past, but maybe gateways to the future. They look like endings, but they might be beginnings. And maybe, just maybe, we're not watching black holes from the outside. We're living in one, a projected world, inside a cosmic shadow, cast by a universe we'll never see. Because in the end, Black holes might not be tombstones of dead stars. 
They might be cradles of creation. In reality, it's not just strange. It's stranger than we can imagine.